All right, so I'm currently uh, waiting for my dinner right now, and I wanted to talk about a topic that I think is kind of an undercurrent and something people worry about with solo travel, which is loneliness. So I've been solo traveling for a long time, currently in India. Um, by the way, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. There's lots more coming up from here in India, and also later I'm heading to Europe. But anyway, I decided to talk about this because I'll be honest, at this moment, I feel like it would be nice to have a little bit of company. Um, but here I am, do a little wide view. By the way, in case you're wondering why I have my scarf over my head, okay, it is like kind of, the sun is just going down and uh, the mosquitoes are out. So I'm trying to give myself a little bit of extra cover right now. So that's what's going on with that. They love to bite me like right here on my ear. Like it's really strange and ridiculous. So I'm trying to take away that um, bait for them. Anyway. So I think, you know, there's things to remember as a solo traveler because what solo travel means is really different for different people. Like some people solo travel, but as soon as they get to their hostel, they're making lots of friends and then they hang with those same people for days, weeks, months even. I've heard people solo traveling, but together with other solo travelers. So they're not really alone anymore. And I tend to do a hybrid of, you know, being mainly on my own and occasionally hanging out with people but I'm gonna be really honest with you which is that lately I've been so busy with making videos and working that I don't really feel like I have a lot of time you know like there are people in my dorm I'm staying at a hostel right now and I really like them they seem chill but like I don't really have that much time to like hang out and make a new friend you know exactly um, so it's a topic that comes up and also I think it's important to think about your own personal temperament when you're thinking about whether or not solo travel is for you so I grew up as an only child so for me I'm used to kind of entertaining myself having a lot of time on my own um, but if you're someone who was raised in a really big family if you're used to having siblings around and five roommates obviously solo traveling for you is going to be a bit more jarring right spending days on your own might seem really um, intimidating in some ways but just know that even if you decide to do a solo trip on your own you have a choice, especially if you're staying in hostels, right? You can manage how much time you spend alone versus how much time you spend with other people, as long as you're not like, you know, trying to work at the same time and then balance a bunch of schedules and people. It can definitely get a little bit tricky that way, or at least it has been for me. I certainly can't speak or um, try to speak for everybody. but. I really like solo traveling with all that said, even though I do have moments where I'm here, I'm in a restaurant, you know, on my own, and it's a night where I think it could be nice to kind of have a chat, which by the way, sometimes I really love filming interviews for my channel because it really gives me the opportunity to connect with other people, to engage with other people. Like recently I filmed a chat with a guy named Lee who I met and it was so nice. It was nice to be able to get some wisdom from him because he's a, um, he works at a consulate. So I got lots of advice from him about scams and things like that. Um, I'll post a link to those videos as well in case you haven't seen it. But it was also just nice to connect and chat and he's like American and there aren't so many other Americans that I meet necessarily when I'm traveling. So it was like it felt like a really big win, you know, to, to be able to have that time, you know, to meet, to chat and connect with another person. And so as a solo traveler, it's not something that I always do regularly, but it's okay. That's the other thing that I've learned, you know, like it's okay. And I think it's about how I choose to process it, right? Like, okay, I'm at dinner. It would kind of be nice to have a little bit of company from someone that I wanted to have dinner with, but it's okay. You know, like I'll be okay. I'm kind of used to having dinners alone <laughs> and uh, it's not necessarily a problem, you know, and there will be times when I'm around my friends again and you know I'm meeting up with friends when I'm in Europe and I'm gonna see some people I know later in other cities in India so it's like I think also just remembering that all of these things are sort of temporary you know and there are so many pros that come along with solo traveling so even on some of the occasions where it's kind of like <laughs> where it's like that that's okay that's not gonna last um, it's just sort of how it is so in general is solo travel lonely i would say no but it can be at times so that's it for now just wanted to uh 
have that little chat as I sit here and contemplate this for myself as I wait for my dinner. So I'm going to end this with a little shot of my view right now so you can see what I'm seeing. I'm going to throw a few videos on the end of this uh, of what we talked about with the guy, my chat with Lee and stuff. So here we go. Check out the view. All right.